Pressure, amps, avionics, engine parameters, external power. Pops are up. Radio avionics did that. Fuel selector is on. Taxing parking brake. Brakes, HSI, turn coordinator. Good. Alright, two. Call for a clearance. Panama City Ground, Sierra's number 374. Romeo leaves at Shelter. Looking to pick up IFR to uh, 2 Juliet 5. Sears 374, uh, Romeo Lima, Panama City Ground, cleared to 2 Juliet 5 Airport is filed on departure, maintain 3000. Expect 7000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 120.82, squawk 1573. Clear to 2 Juliet 5 as filed, uh, 3000, 7010, uh, 120.82 on the frequency and 1573 on the squawk. Uh, we're ready to taxi and shelter here with Sierra. Sierra 374, Romeo Lima. Read back correct for my 34, taxi via Juliet. 34 via Juliet for 4, Romeo Lima. Tina, you know, I'm uh, 8 Bravo Charlie, turn left, taxiway Papa if able, and taxi to park Delta Echo 1, Foxtrot. Brakes work. Charlie, taxi to park this frequency. This is Julia right here. King Air 322 Hotel Golf, Panama City Tower, wind at 3604 for land. Alright, it's going to be a normal takeoff. We'll be departing runway 34 uh, with initial heading of runway heading and initial uh, altitude of 3,000 feet. Any abnormalities uh, prior to rotation, we will abort, continue straight ahead, braking, aer aerodynamic braking. Anything above 
um, in the air below 700. 700 feet. We will go straight ahead, not more than 30 degrees left or right center line. Anything above 700 feet, uh, we will pull caps immediately. Anything below above 2,000 feet, I will troubleshoot and turn back for the runway. Any questions? We got somebody on final. You can just wait before you call. So we're back in the Cirrus today, going to Millen, Georgia. Not sure what that's near. Uh, so it's uh, just east of Savannah. Just east of Savannah, looking at puppies. King Air on fun. Yeah, the same thing I had. It's it's quite a bit of a crosswind, digging you, dipping. Then when you lower, it's a bit less. Ten o'clock, CDB Stars, here's 512 Mike Delta, uh, is that 2600 descending inbound for landing runway 34? Sir, it's 512 Mike Delta, Panama City Tower, port right base from way 34. Porting right base for 34, 512 Mike Delta. Panama City Tower, Sierra Star 374, Romeo Lima's hold short of 34, ready for departure. King Air 322 Hotel, Golf Turn Left, Taxiway Papa, and then Delta Juliet to parking. Left Papa, Delta Juliet, to Golf. Sierra 374, Romeo Lima, runway 34, fly runway heading, clear for takeoff. All right, 34, runway heading, uh, clear for takeoff for 4, Romeo Lima. 50, good, landing lights on. 34, identified. Good. 10,000 feet of runway. No one on base or final. There's 3 4. Cross one from the right. Ooh, get all back on the center line. Full power is set. Engine instruments are in the green, airspeed is alive, there's 71, 73, climb out now. Ninety knots, positive rate, clear of obstacles, flaps up. Now we're climbing out at one twenty. Approach clearance here momentarily. 
Okay, great, thank you. Zero my kilo. Captain the field inside, 2 o'clock in uh, 7 miles. Field inside, zero my kilo. Roger, 7. Seven, eight hundred feet per minute. up some. Main concern is RPMs. Plan will speed up a little bit. We'll power back. 70 on the percentage. Good 
Karen's approach, Sirius number 374, Romeo Lima is checking in 7000. Three, two, four, Charlie, what's the affirmative, sir? You can give us a call while you're on the ground via phone number, or you can just call us um, on this frequency. Sounds like she's talking on multiple three, seven, frequencies. Three, two, four, Romeo Lima, Karen's approach, Karen's out in the three, double, oh, nine. Three, zero, zero, nine, four, Romeo Lima. Got four, Romeo Lima, back from the annual inspection down in St. Augustine. You saw the video. If you didn't, it's linked. You can watch it. Um, Got my dad here, and he's going to tell you a little bit about what went into the annual, um, some of the things that got fixed, etc. Well, we learned a great lesson on brakes. Uh, you certainly don't want to uh, apply your brakes on the runway after you land if you can. Uh, much better just to roll out, uh, dump your flaps. And uh, pull the stick all the way back, uh, put the weight on the wheels and let it slow down and just let it, if you got the wrong way to do it, let it roll out and uh, only use the brakes uh, at the very last minute when you're when you're turning. Otherwise you're gonna be replacing your brakes. Uh, the same thing. All new brake rotos and pads. Also, if you do if you're doing a lot of training, you're gonna go through your tires in a year, so those are the biggest things we have with the annual. Uh, really jacked up the price. Well, keep in mind this airplane has primarily been used for training. So, uh, yeah, so the first year we all got our IFRs. It was expected that um, the first annual would be pretty expensive, but other than that, I think it was standard. The heat system went out right before annual. Um, not sure what the deal with that was. Well, there's an actuator on the, uh, the flap that pulls in the, uh, lets the air go by the, uh, I believe, the exhaust pipes to, to heat up the air, something in the engine to heat up the air. Obviously, you don't want to, it's not blowing in fumes, but that's what they use to heat up the air, and that actuator was out, so it wouldn't open that flap, so now that's been fixed. We had a few paint issues with uh, bubbling on the new airplane around the uh, baggage door where you're pushing the button and the paint started bubbling. That was all under warranty. It's always good to get the insurance warranty and the upgraded warranty. When you're negotiating, they'll sometimes throw in the extra two years if you put your deposit up way early. So, so all pretty basic stuff, nothing major. No new magnetos or engines. So that was annual. Um, and St. Augustine did a good job. Alright, well, we're here at uh, 7,000 feet at cruise. We'll keep you posted if anything changes. Uh, but for now, we'll pick back up with you on our descent into Millen, Georgia. Alright, everybody, uh, welcome back here. We're at 11,000. We just got uh, told we can descend pilot's discretion down to 3,000. So we're going to head on down here. Get the weather. Um, which is 
super convenient because we're going 202 knots of true airspeed. There's Waynesboro. Waynesboro. that knows the Cirrus. There's no visible moisture out here. Outside air temperature is 2 degrees Celsius. Why does Cirrus want me to keep the pedo heat on? If you know, see if you can uh, let me know in the comments. So the engine's starting to run a little rough. That's when I like to throw the boost pump on. Bring a little mixture. Coast is pretty close in. Some of you were commenting on why the fuel mixture, uh, why I leave it lean. That's because this isn't a training airplane, so one of the things we do is try to run the engine at maximum performance. And with maximum performance means maximum engine longevity for the Sears manufacturer. So I like to keep the engine leaned out on final uh, until about two miles. And we're approach here, from 374 Romeo Lima. Go ahead, cancel IF4.
This might become an interesting scenario. Could have a radio out. And Atlanta approach radio check. Augusta approach, Sears 374, Romeo Lima, over a 2 Juliet 5, and we're having trouble getting on with Atlanta, we'd like to cancel IFR. 374, Juliet Lima, IFR, cancel Eastern Seas, Fox, BFR, Fox, 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 Melon traffic, uh, Sirius number 374, Romeo Lima is joining a left downwind for runway 35. It's gonna be a full stop, Melon. Anybody on the runway? Melon traffic, Sears number 374, Romeo, the best turn in final runway 35, full stop, Melon. So five of Bring the mixture back to the X. No we'll brakes. <laughs> no need to use the brakes. Keep the center line. And slight right uh, cross one. This is going to be taxiing back on this runway. Aerodynamic brakes. Now we use brakes. And 
Millen traffic, uh, Sirius number 374, Romeo Lima's back taxi, runway 35 to the ramp, Millen. Landing light on because we're still on the uh, runway, even though we're taxiing. We're going to pull up. Oh, and then. I guess they don't have an FBL. Thank you guys for coming along today on this flight, catch you on the next one.